A PhD candidate at the University of New Mexico is making a big impact on the world of songbirds by calling into question 200 years of assumptions about a species in Africa. This is called a Eurocephalus shrike, uh, a white crown shrike. And we are looking at how these species are related to other things like crows and other shrikes. No one in the last 200 years had ever said these birds are unique enough to be their own family. While studying specimens loaned out by collections around the country, Jenna McCullough, along with her advisor, Michael Anderson, began to question if scientists were correct about the species placement on the bird family tree. Their research shows that this species belongs in their own unnamed family. And so we show in our paper that these are actually not closely related to shrikes and they have been considered shrikes like this. Here's a shrike. They've been considered part of shrikes because they look very similar, but their evolutionary history shows that they are separate. McCullough says discovering new genetic families in birds is rare, especially after the species was Things named so long ago. And so I had to go back to that literature, which sometimes isn't in English. So there was a, a paper that I had to read from, I think it was 1854, that was French. And I had to use uh, Google Translate very, very heavily to be able to read that paper. As the discoverer, Jenna got to name the new family, but she says it wasn't as creative as you'd think since she had to follow some very strict naming conventions.